Yo yo, what up, it's Poir, and it's time to get into meta builds for other weapons aside longsword. Yes, I play bow, but not well. <laughs> this time we're going to cover raw bows for those that don't want to switch elements that often. And to be honest, they're not too far behind elemental, although elemental is still superior. So we're going to cover each shot type, rapid, spread, and pierce, with budget and max PC versions to put together. But first for bow, there are some things to cover. With the new level 4 dangos, you can eat for fighter level 4, which enables you to reach max stamina easier in combination with dash juice. So the minimum constitution you need goes from 4 to just 2 points. So all bow builds can be optimal with stamina surge 3 and constitution 2. No need for 4 to 5, you're just wasting points at that point. I've seen a lot of builds on reddit or randos in game, scrap those level 4 to 5s. But the second food slot should be Moxie, followed by Booster or Defender High. Anomalies hit hard against range, so Moxie at level 2 can help prevent a death momentarily. Speaking of anomalies, even with the typical range defense around 700 for meta builds, when you eat for Booster and have armor charm and stuff, you will still get one shot by some moves, even at full life. Hellmel makes some other moves more prone to one-shotting as well, and we're not even at 5-star anomaly quests yet, so... I would implore you to collect some green spear birds if you can, at least for multiplayer. Either that or you better have your dodge bolt game be on fleet, because if you miss your dodge you're gonna die or get hit for 80% or more of your life. And most of the meta bow builds can't fit in stun res, so yeah, bow's definitely the hardest ranged weapon to play, and Sunbreak basically did nothing for bow's damage or defense measures to really help with that. Perhaps with the augment system in the next update we can get more quality of life stuff, but because most of my builds do slot in evade extender however, you can simply normal dodge something you're not confident in dodge bolting. Like Valstrax's laser for example, just dodge it like a melee person dodges it. Or don't be afraid to superman dive that comet crash or scorn's bullcrap super saiyan 2 mode attacks. Superman is your friend. He gives you way more iframes than anything else in the game. But your switch skills will tend to be as follows. Absolute power shot, dodge bolt, stake thrust, your choice of aerial aim or the dodge, and bolt boost. Bolt boost lasts like a minute versus Herculean draw which is somewhere around 20 to 30 seconds, with about a 2% damage difference. But bolt boost critical range is kinda wonky and while ballistics can help, typically you just settle with some shots will benefit from it and some will not. You can have both however with bolt boost on one scroll and Herculean on the other. But if using Dereliction, then obviously you'll have to stick with one. Up to you. Pets, Cat with Go Fight Win is nice. Other than that, Rousing Roar can be nice if you don't mind losing a Gathering Cat. But, Double Silk Bind Zoid Dogs are busted with bow and ranged weapons in general. You'll want a similar setup to this, range centric, and a sleep weapon which I think is superior to para now since the animation going to sleep allows for free shots as well as the wake up animation too. And both those animations combined last about the same as Para does, but sleep triggers much more often. So yeah, double dogs, go. And now, build time. We'll start with Rapid, which is the balanced shot type, giving you some nice range and an easier time landing all your hits than the other shot types. With that said, it is the weakest shot type, where spread will generally do better with more advanced players, and monsters you would bring Pierce to, Pierce destroys Rapid, but still a solid choice. Nice. For this we use the Royal Order Bow, which has gotten through a follower quest I believe, maybe Gallius's, but the other option is Herald Bow, which has 10 more raw and doesn't need Mighty Bow plus Jewel, since it already has the final level unlocked. However, Royal Order gets 10% affinity with a level 2 slot and has para coatings, while Herald only has close range and power, so I think Royal is just better with that in mind. Most of the budget builds today can be put together with a Constitution 2, 2-2 two, two slot charm, or an Attack 3 with a level 2 or level 3 slot charm. Those are your budget options. You can get away with a 3-2-1 no skill charm, but you will lose Evade Extender. But yeah, Bloodlust is great for bow and will usually be on every build at level 1. It gives you 20% affinity when you overcome it, or it just gives you 10 raw. And chain crit level 1 is 8 more raw when you get it up and running, which is more than going from attack 4 to 5 for example. So that is rapid, next is spread, which you guessed it, Kami's is still the best raw spread bow. Level 3 and level 1 slot, power coating, paracoding, poison, 370 raw, nice. nice. Skills are typically going to be the same for nearly every bow build, crit boost gives more EFR than going higher attack even with 50% crit, 
and for camis you got enough space for hellmel. As I mentioned though, Hellmel's more dangerous, but I will have a safer spread option later if safety is a concern. But that is the budget option. And for PC chads, you can have this. Dereliction Kami with an attack 3 Wex 2 charm. If you think you don't need extender, you can get attack 7. But with this, I scored a 140 Master Rank Raytheon kill time, which is only 21 seconds behind my max dragon damage spread bow build. So as you can see, Raw isn't that far behind in the casual sense. Speedrunner wise though, it's still behind. But we're not speedrunners. <laughs> and lastly is Pierce. Now Pierce is a bit awkward since it's mainly only good against big or long monsters. Think Narwa, Mizu, or the final boss. And honestly, for raw Pierce, the options are not good. Maybe when Lucent releases, it'll be best in slot. But for this, I went Rachna Blast Bow. Cyanitar would be the other pure option, but it's got no level 2 slot, so budget builds, you really want a level 2 or more slots on your weapons, so Rachna is best. And I even seen a sub 4 all mother kill with it from a Japanese speedrunner, so it's definitely still strong, getting me nearly a sub 3 Mizu as well. Not bad. Again, similar setup to everything else, Reload Speed 2 allows you to swap coatings on the fly without having to manually equip them. It's a must have for every bow build. And before you ask, yes, this is modded layered armor, the benefits of PC. I think it's a character from Honga Impact or something. Now, if you want ballistics, then something like this would be nice for budget. It means your arrows can stay topped up with damage even further or closer range than normal, which double benefits with bolt boosts to upkeep that 10% extra damage from it. And for a bonus off meta build, here is a tanky bow build that will help you live more. I have tried Blood Rite, but it sucks. It's got the same problem Blood Blight does, in that you only get HP back based off the damage of a single arrow, not the entire four or more arrows per power shot. So it sucks for bow and still doesn't prevent one shots. Whereas this might, but you get Divine Blessing level three and still get Crypt Boost three and Bloodlust, but also get Defense five thrown on top for more tankiness. For this build specifically, you will want to eat for Super Recovery level 4 as your first slot, then Fighter level 3, and Booster or something else as your third, which to compensate for that, this gets Constitution 3. The only charm I have on me on my PC save is a Const 3 2 2 charm, so that's why you're seeing level 4. I'm just slotting in an extra Const to imitate a 2 2 2 slot charm. And also keep in mind, Kami does include Recovery Arc. Which, if you use that with Super Dango Recovery, you can heal up fast in your burst without having to use a potion, which is nice. Sort of a Suedo Kushala Immortal effect. And lastly, for all the weapons, you'll want a Anti-Species Rampage Deco. Aquatic, Aerial, you know the drill. But yeah, that is the raw meta for Bow. Most of my times are around 3 minutes, I'm sure Elemental will be a tad faster, but not too extreme I don't think. Well, at least in Kami's case for spread. So yeah, enjoy the builds, Element will be done eventually, so if you guys want to see more builds, make sure to watch, like, comment, and subscribe, all four of those things, for more Sunbreak Epicness.